think it's doing a lot of that um, dysfunctionalism between our group. But really that whole that big role, that whole name of the game show, it was about opportunity, it was about choices. And it was about decisions you made when you know, the opportunity was put into that which you was going to do with it. And um, basically, coming from my standpoint, I came here to win. Music is, is, is the way it does for me. I mean, I get up to music, I get wise to music, I dress to music, I eat the music, when I get in the car, I listen to music, when I get out, I listen to music, when I listen to music throughout the whole day. So that's, that's my life. So what I'm here to say, I'm a living testament. I done been on the streets and everything. I done been locked up and incarcerated. I mean, I just turned my life around in 360, and making a thing that had opportunity was a, was a way for me to get out of the life that I was living. And it was just like, it was like an avenue for me to change my life, and for me to get back on track, because I mean, I was at the bottom. I was out there hustling, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. I was incarcerated for a year, and I mean, I was stuck, I suffered the whole time. So making a band was like, I mean, if I could be making a band, if I never get picked on that show, Man, I don't know what I'm doing right now. So, from me to you, this right here, school is a great start set. You can learn a lot of life lessons, stay in school. I know it kind of sound corny and they kind of like try to get y'all to stay in school and try to just kind of y'all to stay in school. But I'm telling you, stay in school and reading, being literate, that's the, like, the, two, the, the two things you need to have to make it out here in this world. Coming from me, like I said, I'm living proof. I've been on the middle of streets. I've been there, like, Probably everything y'all in there did and, and probably more. So believe me, I'm definitely from the streets. I don't see a lot of the show because I'm about my business, but okay. I'm definitely from the street and I definitely know what y'all go through about the clothes and not coming to school because you don't have the necessary clothes you want to wear and you're afraid people are going to pick on you and all that crazy stuff. I've been there and I've done it. So I, I definitely know where y'all coming from. Okay. But it's all about opportunity. Let me tell you, it's all about opportunity. The music business is promising and a little good on the outside, but when you get into it, it's definitely hard work. And y'all need to take the lessons that y'all learn in school, that same work ethic, and apply it to anything that you do. And y'all can take what it means. Huh? What you class CD? Also, Chopper is inside a bad boy song. never stop learning. Every experience you have, everything you face, not, not just in school. Of course we know we have to finish school, we go to college, we do what we have to do. But you never stop learning. And that's what I'm learning. Being on the show was cool, you know, getting up there and Arsenio was the host and, and being in front of all of the millions of people. Before I got on the show, I was a music teacher. I was teaching music in Coney Island, and, you know, yeah, I was teaching music in Coney Island, and at night, I was going out to the club singing, and on the weekend, I was going to school, alright, because I knew I wanted to be in music, but I also knew that I had to learn as much as I could, because no one was going to take away my talent or abuse my talent. You see what I mean? See what Dougie said about protecting yourself and, crea and creating this, this strength around you. I went to school, I was working nights and, and made my way through college by working nights. And because I won on the show, because I worked so hard, and because I didn't have, I never had money for music lessons or anything like that. I, my, my lessons came from school, going to, every day, every day in high school. The reason I went to high school was because of third period, Mrs. Parini, my music teacher, going up there and being able to sing the solo, the school concerts, that's what kept me in school. Find something that is your joy in school. Because music was my joy and it kept me here. I didn't have any money to go to college. Because of my talent, I auditioned for every music school. Every, I auditioned for Brooklyn College. I said, hey, I'm going to keep 
for this to be But if you have a dream, you have to follow it. And no one can tell you, you can't do it.